Hey, it's Ocean and welcome back to Single Mom. The alarm is going off and it's a 5 a.m. Normally, Krista likes to stay really organized and wake up at 4 so she has time to get herself together and also has time to get crazy together before the nanny comes. So, ooh, today's Will Wright Day. Actually, we may not even have to work. Is my calendar acting right? Okay, so I have been having like this problem with my calendar recently. It's been going crazy. Um, but today's World Right Day, so I actually don't think we have work today, which is amazing. If you ever need like any type of holiday ideas or a guide to the calendar, I actually made a video on that. So you definitely check that out. I'll have it linked. Um, but it looks like we are up and at it. We are brushing our teeth, getting ready for the day. I thought we had to get ready for a tom for for her job, but we don't because today's World Right Day. So shout out to the holiday the good thing is chris is an early bird anyway in fact can i even buy that as a reward i only have 50 i only have 50 uh points and yeah i want to make her a morning sim i need a thousand what's something she wants to do go for a jog and she wants to gain a parenting skill oh she wants to go for a jog i think what we're going to do is call the nanny uh can we call the nanny right now all right, because I do actually want to go for a little jog and have some me time, you know, before Grace wakes up and everything. And yay, 7.05. Okay, so Nanny should be here at 7.05 because, you guys, I don't want it to be unrealistic. I'm not going to leave her alone while I go jogging around the neighborhood. Anything could happen. <laughs> I mean, this is Willow Creek and the Sims. Nothing happens here. I think what we could also do is just, do we have an apple or anything? Did I plant? Oh, I didn't do that. I was supposed to have some fresh fruit or veggies so she could just grab an apple or something you know but i actually don't think i have that so can we do breakfast a side bowl we'll do single serving of that get a little something something these are very like quick to make and eat um so she's gonna get that for breakfast and oh the nanny should actually be here right yay the nanny is here and actually i need to like make sure i give him a makeover because i want to be really close with our nanny <laughs> and it looks like it's some old guy hi there my name is nanny shimizu uh, nice to meet you i am sensible sufficient in every way i can play cook and mentor and yes i'm not opposed to changing diapers and cleaning and messes if needed let's have a fun day together I kind of feel like I want the nanny to be like, maybe even our, maybe it could be like our dad or like someone that we're related to that we're close to. I wouldn't just hire any old guy, you know, to watch my baby girl. Just wouldn't. So let's do cast.full edit mode. And let's do this together. Let's, you know, just kind of give him a quick little makeover. So I have given the nanny a makeover and his name is Benny Branch. And I think I'm going to set a family relationship or familial relationship because I kind of feel like he gives me not necessarily her dad, but almost like a uncle or something like her, her, her mom's brother um, that still took care of her once her mom passed away. And I feel like she didn't have like the best relationship with her mom. Um, could be something underlying like that. But I just feel like uh, her uncle was like someone she really confided in, you know? Um, Cause like in a lot of cases in families, like sometimes you may not really vibe with your actual parents that well, but like your cousins or like your aunties and, and uncles and stuff like that, you actually really have a solid relationship with them and you can almost like tell them anything. So I feel like Benny is more than just the nanny for some reason you know and so like hopefully we can convince him to move here or something and he <laughs> won't just be in these outfits because I gave him some really nice outfits and I think what I'm gonna do is uh go to MC command uh let's see add a relationship with someone a lot add a relationship with Krista and make her his uh, I can't really do it so I can't really make I can't make Benny Hmm. We could totally make Benny our dad, though. I'm literally getting so wrapped up in the mo in the single mom life that maybe this is her dad. <laughs> Coming to watch the kid. That's even better. Duh. I don't know why. I'm so wrapped up in the quick. This. Let's just say this is our dad. Okay. Let's see how that works. Let's see if it shows up. Great. 
I just feel like she'd have some type of family. So, Benny, you're our dad now. <laughs> Please don't pass away. In fact, let's turn aging off again. I don't care. No, no, let's just, we'll just leave it. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Benny, oh man, okay. I just, I need to keep aging on because I don't need to do this because if I, well, maybe I could set it to long. I don't, I'm not ready for it to age up just yet. Gameplay. If I set aging to long. Whoa. If I set aging to long, she'll have like, she'll spend the whole fall as a toddler. Nope, I'm not gonna mess with the time. I'm not gonna mess with the aging. I'm just gonna leave it normal. And when Benny passes away, which is going to be extremely hard for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna panic. And I know he's the nanny, but I do wanna change his outfit. Cause I don't want him in the nanny outfit. Um, he's gonna wear his special cow sweater just for his granddaughter because she loves cows. <laughs> and we keep telling Gracie, just wait, we're gonna wait, just wait a minute, Grace. We're gonna um, we're gonna go to a farm, we're gonna do all that good stuff one day, and you're gonna meet real cows, you know. Shout out to our dad, you know, Benny. <laughs> okay, so thanks, Dad, for coming last minute. I'm gonna go ahead and take a jog. All right, let's go ahead and go jogging so we can get some of these points up. She really wants to do that, and so I want her to get that done for sure. It's seven in the morning, perfect time for a job. So literally, I can just imagine her dad saying, yeah, sure, I'll come on, you come on through, it's Will Wright day. So I'm gonna have to like re-invite him over because he is like this, this set nanny. But yeah, I totally made, made our dad the nanny. <laughs> Which is just not, I didn't have that in the plan, but there we go. So no, Grace, don't use your diaper. You know how to potty. Wake up. Uh, well, right day is so like, do you see this? It's just so gloomy and rainy and bleh. <laughs> I don't like this. Hi, grandpa. Well, honestly, we can totally dismiss our quote unquote nanny now. Um, just so that we... Uh, <laughs> Can just invite him back over again. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to turn out this way, Krista. I don't know. I just, I just, I just did it. I just did it. Krista keeps freezing on me. Um, where'd he go? Okay. Oh, how precious. I love how Benny just got added to the story and there's nothing he could do about it. He's like, okay, guess I have a daughter now and a granddaughter. <laughs> that is the cutest thing. Okay. How cute. I kind of want to move him to Hanford on Bagley. I feel like we'd go visit dad at the farm or something. Maybe he has two houses somewhere or something. I don't know. Or maybe he's down here. No, I don't want to move him to Hanford on Bagley, but I do want to make like a, um, put him in an area, maybe Brindleton Bay and give him a farm. Oh, she's a little hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> you just, you look so cute, Gracie. Oh my gosh. I'm just actually going to take her to the sink and I'm going to clean up Grace just to make sure that she's nice and clean and everything. I love this feature added. This isn't part of a mod. I think that's base game actually. And then I want to give her some food. Oh, he made tacos. Wow. Awesome. He made fish tacos. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let me give food from inventory. We have food in inventory. No, I don't want to give her food cake. Um, grab food for Grace. Uh, let's see. Let's get her some milk. Let me get you some milk. You love your grandpa, don't you? <laughs> you just love your grandpa. You're just such a cutie. Okay. And then let's invite him over. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Like, Benny is the nanny. I still can't get over Benny being the nanny. And then now he is our dad. And I'm over here like, should he be the uncle? Like, just, just make him the dad. Um, that way, it kind of killed two birds with one stone. She has family now. Hey, Dad, um, if you're not doing anything, I forgot to mention. Maybe he, like, went to the store to grab us some hamburgers or something, you know? And uh, then he's coming coming um, over, coming back over, I mean. So we'll do that, and then I'll come out here and get something started. I want to do, hmm, veggie burgers. I want to make some veggie burgers and see if our dad will notice that they are veggie burgers and not your usual hamburger. Quick question, mainly and I are planning to spend some casual friend time. Sure, go for it. I think you should go for it. Nice, okay. <laughs> oh, also, let me go into game options. 
I also want to turn off neighborhood stories. This was a new feature and I don't want story progression. I think Benny's here. Yay, he is. There he goes. Hi. Hey, dad. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and so I want uh, Grace to actually, let's ask to go into kiddie pool. Benny, can you please put, <laughs> put uh, Grace in the pool for me? Oh man, look at him. He's so excited. It's a hot day. I want them to dress up. So we're cooking. Everyone is in their hot weather attire and it looks so good outside. It's finally a sunny day because I cheated it up. I had to. I was not going to let anything ruin my favorite holiday. <laughs> I just want to come over here and get these barbecue ribs and baked beans going because it is Will Wright Day and I have Krista on the grill. <laughs> like dad isn't even on the grill, okay? But we probably wouldn't even trust him to cook, to be honest. Uh, but no, I'm just kidding because he did make fish tacos when he was over earlier. So I want to go on the pool, grandpa, please. <laughs> so this is just so wholesome. It's so stinking cute the vibes that i want it's will right day and it's small normally my sims like for the longest time now have spent functions with tons of people at all times i am always having these like big parties with all the sims in the neighborhood coming by so it's nice just to have dad here you know and just chill <laughs> our improv dad and it's just nice to chill with the holidays in a nice close-knit setting Oh my, oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> call the fire department. Now let's call the fire department. Let's see how long it takes to get for them to get here. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for your call. Firefighters will be on their way. I could have did this myself. It's not the Sims if your game doesn't look like this after like five seconds. You know, you already know the deal. <laughs> this, is, this is like standard. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, let's replace it. Try to be more careful. Yeah, I mean, um, hello. She literally has a cooking skill level three. Shouldn't be happening, right? Oh, poor thing. That fire really scared her, so we're gonna come for her. It's okay, Grace. It's okay. <laughs> she had she ran out the pool. Oh, poor thing, poor thing. Um, thanks, Dad, because that could have been bad. Wow, but Krista's very cool, calm, and collected. You see, she grabbed the food, she walked away. She was really, she she was fine. She was okay. Are you doing a toast, Dad? You're awesome. <laughs> With some cosmopolitans. All right, Dad. Okay, let's send baby girl inside. I think she's ready to just go ahead and have some food. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe she put the barbecue ribs on the coffee table. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it sit there. Uh, she needs this drink, okay? Today was kind of hectic. It was kind of crazy. Let's change into... Yeah, let's do this outfit because her other outfit like she had on a sweater and everything it is like literally almost 90 degrees <laughs> actually probably like a good 80 <laughs> and uh fahrenheit also i'm going by fahrenheit but let's eat i feel like we made too much food dad maybe i should invite my other like mutual friends that i've met uh, let's go ahead and invite maybe liberty and yeah let's let's invite our friends i forgot we do have a friend that we are kind of befriending that's gavin okay so now that we have people coming over let's just like clean up everything and make sure everything looks nice for everyone to um, get some food and enjoy themselves here because you know she has friends and stuff now see that's that's so like everything happens super organic now she has friends so gavin is here and he's just like wow you have your dad over and everything i want to talk up another sim just so that he can possibly even introduce himself so let me talk up my dad just so that he can go hey yeah i'll, I'll introduce myself to him <laughs> like you know um and then mila as well oh mila's back here liberty this energy i'm not liking it fix it honey i don't like that he's like wow i'd love to get to know him oh yeah he's a hoot and a holler you totally should he's super fun he um helps me take care of grace and stuff here and there being that we just added benny in here which is her dad quote unquote i do want to say i feel like benny probably upon her adopting grace was not for the idea like you're asking to be a single mom he had the stereotypical reaction and just totally wasn't down for it feeling like he was making she was making a big mistake like why would you adopt just to be a single mom and of course it sounds ridiculous but he may have been an old-fashioned guy like feeling like he, the kids need a two-parent household and you know he also probably felt some type of way about you know adopting like why won't you just have a baby you know Ugh. 
<laughs> I don't think he was always for the idea and supportive, but I feel like once Grace was here and he met her and um, saw how badly Krista wanted to be a mom and everything, he kind of felt like, hey, my daughter never gets heartbroken and I have a beautiful granddaughter and he loves Grace so much, would do anything for these girls. And so that's kind of like in my head, like as I was making him over and just, just seeing how he interacted with everybody, I'm like, yeah, I feel like he wasn't always nice. Benny, Benny wasn't always Benny. And um, I just kind of like that. So I just like the way that everything feels um, in, in this right now. So uh, I actually don't know where dad is. Dad left. <laughs> um, but we're socializing and it's honestly seven, which is kind of late. So I think she's going to go ahead and send everyone home now. She's not a socializer. She's definitely getting quite used to that. When you are the host of a party, this is what happens. You end up being the last one to eat. Okay, who, who can who can attest to that? You make all the food for everybody and you're the last one to eat. You already know how it goes. Um, and Travis, you gotta go home. Why is he still staying here? You need to go to sleep, baby girl. She's like, I know, I wanna go to bed. Come on, I'll read you a book. She's not trying to go to sleep. Gracie's tired. I call her Gracie, even though I know her name is Grace, but it's just like cute to say Gracie, you know. And then I wanna um, tuck her in one more time. One more time for good luck. I love you. Love you, Gracie. Okay, and now she can go eat. She needs to eat something. Uh, we're not gonna do the barbecue, but we can probably like, uh, eat a veggie burger and we'll put this away we have to clean up we have to do so much stuff and what does she want to do bake chocolate chip cookies mm, that's such a cute little like oh no we forgot to do our fireworks we can't do our fireworks because it's raining do you see this they are peacefully sleeping now and it is raining and honestly oh now it's sunny and she has to get up at like four in the morning like 4 30 i need her to get up and do it all over again now she actually does have work today and we need the nanny to come over and i just want to see if our dad is still going to be the nanny after we've edited <laughs> relationships and everything mm -mm, i can like smell the tea uh so she has work at eight almost six in the morning this is the calm before the storm. You have to think too, Krista is always around children. She now has an adopted daughter. And then on top of that, she spends most of her day with little kids, you know, with uh, with third graders. So she is, is always with kids. And so this morning before going into work means so much to her. Let's go ahead and let's grab some food for Grace. We're gonna give her some pancakes and berries something really nice and filling i love mornings with her like i swear i do <laughs> she's just so cute all right nice oh don't play with your food just eat it <laughs> all she wants to do is make a mess all the time goodness gracious okay so let's clean this up we'll clean up our vehicle let me give her a hug before i go we have work now mm -hmm. um all right, mommy loves you. I love you. She's like, but mommy, oh, oh we have to go. We're going to be late. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Hire nanny. Yay, and it's Benny. Benny is here. Yay, and we can get him out of this 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 outfit. I can change the outfit every time, and he's going to wear his special cow sweater. Yay. I'm so excited. She can't wait. She's at the door waiting for her grandpa. She is like so excited. She's going right to him. Oh, she can't wait. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay baby. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Peace out. Mm -hmm.